Witamy w Polsce. This is Wrocław. Wrocław is a city where history intertwines with contemporary life and where every cobblestone street holds echoes of centuries gone by. Join us as we wander through this enchanting Polish gem where beauty is woven into the fabric of everyday life. Nestled along the Odra River, Wrocław's geography is as diverse as its rich history. From the charming old town to the lush parks, each corner offers a glimpse into its captivating allure. Known as Europe's best destination of 2018, Wrocław is the fourth biggest city in Poland. It is located in the southwest part of the country, not far from the borders with Czech Republic and Germany. But let's take a step back in time and uncover the layers of history that define Wrocław's identity. Once a crossroad of cultures and civilization, this city has weathered the tides of war and conquest, emerging stronger and more resilient with each challenge. Today, Wrocław stands as a testament to its rich heritage, with the skyline punctuated by Gothic spires and rich architecture. Wander through its cobblestone streets and you'll be transported to a bygone era where tales of knights and kings echo through the ages. But Wrocław is not just a relic of its past. It is a vibrant metropolis pulsating with life and energy. Its modern skyline is a testament of its spirit of innovation, blending seamlessly with century-old architecture to create a visual symphony unlike any other. And let's not forget about the heart and soul of Wrocław, its people and their passion for good food and company. From the historic Pivnika Świdicka, the oldest restaurant in Europe, to the cozy cafes lining every street corner, every culinary experience is a journey of discovery and delight. As the sun sets over the city, casting a warm glow upon its streets, you'll feel it. A magical atmosphere that makes you feel like you've stepped into a fairy tale. It's in the laughter of friends sharing a meal, the sweet tunes of street musicians, and the timeless beauty of Wrocław's buildings. Each one seems to have its own story to tell. Walking through the city's streets and alleys, you'll be captivated by its charming vibe at every turn. In Wrocław, reality feels like a dream where every moment is filled with wonder and possibility. So whether you're traveling, seeking adventure, or in a local search of inspiration, Wrocław welcomes you with open arms. Come, lose yourself in its charm and discover the magic that awaits you at every turn. This is Wrocław, where the past meets the present and every moment is a masterpiece. But before we take you on this unforgettable adventure, we first gotta take a train there from Berlin. So come along with us as we embark on this exciting journey to Wrocław. Hi everyone, welcome back to Beyond the Borders. As you can see, we're at Berlin Central Station on our way to Wrocław. It's our very first time taking a train crossing borders to a different country. So we are so excited. It has been in the pipeline for a couple of months now during this visit to Poland, our favorite country. So join us on this awesome journey and we cannot wait to show you everything that we're gonna do. Welcome to Berlin Central Station, Europe's largest railway hub. With 14 platforms spanning across four levels and over 80 shops, it's a bustling city within itself. Every day, approximately 330,000 travelers pass through here, making it one of the busiest train stations in the world. Around 1,000 long distance, regional and city trains stop here daily, connecting travelers to destinations far and wide all over Europe. But it's not just about trains. This super modern station offers a variety of shops, places to eat, and even free Wi-Fi across its vast space. I think it's hard to get bored here if you're waiting for your train. So whether you're grabbing a quick bite, doing some shopping, or simply relaxing before your journey, Berlin Central Station has everything you need. So Wrocław, 
is a four hour train journey from Berlin. We are going to take you on the full experience with us, starting from Berlin Central train station all the way to Wrocław. I think there are about six stops on the way. We have booked an intercity train, I think it is. We are super keen for the journey. Like Sine was saying, this is our first trip where we are crossing borders with a train. Now, in South Africa, this is something that you cannot do, or you can, but they, they are very minimal trains to put it that way, and the safety is not something that I personally would want to do. But uh, in Germany and in Europe, it's a normal thing that people travel by train, and this is for us something new, and it's an experience, and I think we're going to be doing a lot more of railing around Europe and starting with this trip. But uh, we are super excited for the journey. We are about 10 minutes away. We have uh, eagerly got here a bit early. As you can see, there are, there, are, there are dogs on the platform. Like That is something that I'm still not used to in Europe, seeing a dog on a plane <laughs> and also on trains. Like That doesn't happen where I'm from. But very cool. It's a bit cold outside. I think it's about two degrees Celsius. The weather says that we're getting at least a bit of sun over the next two days, three days that we are in Wrocław. But uh, we packed our wintry clothes because uh, it looks like it's going to be a bit cool. But yeah, we will uh, take you through on the train and show you how it looks. So get ready to go beyond borders with us. If you are new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, Please do. Over 90% <laughs> of you guys watching our channel are not subscribed. And that sucks. So go subscribe. Now. I am actually super excited about these next couple of videos because we have not vlogged in, in a, very long time. a very long time. For the past 20 or 30 videos, we have literally been Hi. doing Polish reaction videos in preparation for this trip. So I don't think we, we've we've ever been so prepared for a journey to another country. Oh. We are and maybe arrived even, at maybe. our platform. Oh yes, we are. Yeah. Maybe someone will even review this video. A review of a review couple video. <laughs> this is us, platform 12, about five minutes. And this is us. Seats are 66, 65. Okay. There you go. Really? Yeah, that's us. That's pretty cool. We've got like a compartment. I feel special. I don't know. I think there's other people that's probably going to sit here as well. Probably. We've got seat space for our bags up here. Let's hope that we have this for ourselves. It would be cool. Now, what I've seen in other videos, you get these cabins as well, that oh. you can actually convert these into like a bed. The sleeper cabins. Our bag's actually bigger because I'm going to the US. Off to Poland. I've got a reason for it too. So I'm actually hoping that no one else joins us in this cabin. Because then nice. we can make like a bed. As we departed from Berlin Central Station, we embarked on our thrilling journey to Wrocław. Long distance train travel was a new experience for us, so every moment was filled with excitement and awe. Gazing out of the window as we left Berlin behind and ventured into the countryside was a remarkable experience. It provided us with a unique perspective, one that differed greatly from our usual surroundings. We were fortunate enough that no one else joined us in our cabin, giving us the entire space to enjoy. We settled in making ourselves comfortable for the journey ahead. With the excellent onboard Wi-Fi, we managed to get some work done, and we also indulged in some snacks that we had packed for the trip. As we settled in, a cheerful cart rolled through the cabins, tempting us with an array of drinks and snacks. Sine's eyes lit up at the sight of coffee, and she eagerly ordered a cup to accompany our cozy ride. Just got some uh, Polish coffee, paid 8 zloty for it. Is that how I say it? Zloty? I think Zloty. it's Zloty. 
two euros. What's cool is they had this cart and then uh, they came mm. past here now and you could have got chips, biscuits, coffee. What else? Um, I don't know. They didn't have pierogi. <laughs> <laughs> otherwise, otherwise they would have ordered it. The train's toilets were really nice. They were clean and big. We haven't really traveled by train much before except for a few trips around Germany where the bathrooms weren't really that great. Sorry, Flix train. There was also a small window for fresh air and a sink with running water, though I wouldn't drink that water. And there was also a plug for small electrical devices. As a South African who's never traveled by train to other countries before, I was blown away at how clean and good the services were on board. We are about an hour and a half into our journey and we have just received the notification on our phone saying that we have crossed the border into Poland, Polska. So we got about two hours left of the train journey. So now he's very excited. Ducking down into some work over there. Yep, it never stops. I'd say the only thing about these, these cabins though is that I wouldn't feel comfortable sleeping in them because they're pretty loud. Like the insulation that's over here into the next room is pretty thin and you can hear just about everything. So like if you had to take a nap, it would be pretty loud depending on obviously who you are partying with <laughs> or who's partying in the room next door. But also, who wants to sleep? We're about an hour out of our final destination which is the Rotswav and I must say I've been really enjoying this train ride it's smooth um, the seats are comfy we've had an entire cabin of our own and we've been enjoying snacks and chats and doing some work there's Wi-Fi on board and I can definitely see myself being able to do this like long distance um, like actually going to like Krakow for example which is I've, I think maybe like an eight hour or train drive um, this is my first experience taking a, such a long train drive and um, 10 out of 10 so what I really enjoy about it is that they have these charger points so you can charge your laptop as well as your phones so usually the trains or the buses or flex bus whatever they usually just give you the USB port where you can plug your thingy in this one gives you the full experience also we have two areas where you can pack luggage and, and there's a light there as well is that a light no it's not working so also we have curtains for privacy and a dustbin and we have a little bin and a, some and a window that we can open for some ventilation and you can roll the chairs back and make a bed you can do that if you want to you can hang your jacket here you can look at yourself here i think the uh, best thing is that the amount of space that you have like i can't do this in a plane yeah well i wouldn't put my feet on the seats if i were you i saw people next door doing it as well a lot of space, a lot of room, pretty decent, and I think it was 40 euros, I also, which is not bad, 40 euros for, I mean, the train trip. I also like that they put this here, and they switch it whenever someone new comes, because... Do they? Yes, <laughs> because lives gets transferred from head to head. I don't think they changed that. After a journey of close to four hours, we pulled into the enchanting city of Wrocław. However, given that it was almost 9 p.m., meant that we couldn't see much of the city's beauty from our view. Welcome to Poland. Welcome to Wrocław. We've just arrived. Uh, and we are now on our way to the wonderful apartment or hotel that we booked using booking.com who is not a sponsor of this video but uh, it's the most convenient platform that we always use when we travel and uh, we've got to find a tram that is going to take us that way I think it's about like 10 minutes 
from the main station and I'm ready to explore the city. Um, we're not going to do much exploring this evening because <laughs> it is 9 p.m. But we're just going to grab something light to eat after we check in in the hotel. And then we will take it from there. But we'll show you a bit about how the hotel looks. First thing I notice, or we notice, it's pretty clean. Yes. Smells like KFC though. Very clean. But there's a KFC right behind us. But it's super clean. Like there's no graffiti like what we used to in Berlin. As we strolled through the station, we were amazed by its cleanliness and the warmth of the people. Despite having visited Poland before, there was a distinct vibe in the city that captivated us. Even before delving into the exploration of Wrocław, we felt a sense of anticipation and excitement bubbling within us, eager to immerse ourselves in all what the city had to offer. The only thing that we probably should have done a bit more research on was uh, how to get a public transport There's ticket. a ticket thingy, I think. But if I recall from our last trip to Session, they have like tickets or machines that you can buy tickets um, on the tram, on the bus. Fortunately, we're only two stops away and it's 10 minutes, so not too far. Okay, we just got our tickets, which is going to take us to our hotel. So. We are law-abiding citizens. We're not making use of the public transport without paying. But we have never done that before, by the way. But the ticket stations could have been a bit more clearer to use, I think. But it was in English, which we're glad about. But it's right next to the bus stop, so it's pretty clear. I just didn't know. Maybe if we did a bit of reading, it would have been a bit easier. Note to self. Also, the trams don't have graffiti on either. It's very clean. There's not a single paper inside. No, it's a big difference between Bratislava and Berlin. Cleanliness. And we have gotten our keys after a lengthy process of trying to get the keys for the apartment because the reception had closed. Uh, we managed to find it, but uh, super helpful. Everyone's really friendly. Even though they can't speak English and without minimal Polish that we understand. Uh, super, super nice. Like this gentleman just literally walked about 200 meters with us now uh, to help us find the place where we collect our keys. So, yeah, you won't get that in Germany. No. <laughs> but we are here and we will show you how our apartment looks. So we have arrived at our apartment. Absolutely stunning. We paid around 50 euros per night, which works to about 200 zloty. And um, as you can see, it's spacious, it's beautiful, it's self-catering, a kitchen. What blows me away though? A beautiful view. It's very close to the city centre, the old town. But what blows me away is just how cheap it is because a room like this in any other big city would easily cost 200, 250 euros a night. Absolutely. And we paid 50 euros. And, uh... But after a very lengthy mission of finding the hotel, we are here. We even have a washing machine. And we even have a washing machine. Amazing. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so that you stay up to date with all of our latest videos and all of the awesome Polish videos coming up in the next few weeks. Yes. We are super excited. We are going to explore the city from tomorrow and uh, we'll keep you guys posted. I'm very excited also for all the food. We might just go try something out this evening. I think so. Until next time though, this is Beyond Borders. Over and out.